Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to look at the Chemical Guys Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. This one here, $99.99, or depending on where you look. And we can compare that price to, I just did a video on an MJJC a couple weeks ago that was under 80 I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. So there you have the uh, contrast of prices and uh, the performance of the MJJC in that video. You can visit that. Let's take a look at this one a little closer and see how it performs. Out of the box, you get the instruction manual, and the unit itself consists of the intake, the connect fitting, the orifice, which is a 1.1 millimeter, central body O-ring, the mouth, the wide mouth thread bottleneck, the siphon tube, and the solution tank, which is 32 ounces. And we might as well bore you with some technical specs. Capacity, 32 ounces of the canister. Uh, max temperature, 141 degrees. Inlet is a quarter inch. Uh, you have a nozzle diameter of one and a quarter. Minimum pressure, 800 PSI. Maximum pressure, 3,500 PSI. Minimum flow, 1.4 gallons. Maximum flow, 5.3 gallons per minute. But you know the numbers of all of these units, no matter who it's from, are always going to be inflated. Keep that in mind. Something to quick take note, we have torque stamped on the brass intake. So you're familiar with the torque polishers. This comes from the torque tool set. You want to flush the unit, rinse it out with plain water when you're finished, and uh, ensure that the uh, cannon is compatible with your pressure washer. So if it's not going to get along with the 1.1 orifice, you may want to see if you can change it out or just change to a different cannon altogether. Well, I guess the next natural thing to do would be to demonstrate it for you. So we have the Apex Auto Wash sitting here. We're going to put two ounces, exactly two ounces, into the Foam Lance canister. And the rest I like to fill up with warm water three quarters of the way up my Foam Lance canisters. That's the way I like it. To me, that will produce a rather nice wet foam. I don't like the thick, light shaving cream like foam. I like to have it running down the car rapidly carrying contaminants with it. And I'll show you. Ready to go, let's head outside. It's a beautiful day. We have a C7 Corvette. We are prepping for paint protection film and coatings. Needs a bit of a wash, bug splatter, the usual dirt, dust, some contaminants. It's gonna get paint corrected. So let's get it cleaned up, washed first, and we can put this can into use. Hook up the cannon to your quick disconnect hose for the pressure washer. We are using a 2000 PSI Greenworks today. Up on top of the cannon you have adjustments to how much of the wash or shampoo you want to mix with the water and then out front you can tilt uh, or change the angle of the fan of the foam coming out of the cannon. Adjust it to your favorite settings and it's time to get to work.
This is what we've used so far and have left over. I like to fill up three quarters of the way up the bottle because it'll get me around without hardly any waste whatsoever. And right here is the way I like my foam. It's subjective, but um, if you want thicker foam, you can just adjust it that way, add more product or adjust the settings. Then, of course, you let the foam dwell long enough to do its job and then rinse thoroughly. There's pros and cons with everything. Let's talk about pros and cons with this Canon. It's a bit pricey. We don't know how durable it is, how long it'll last. It's within the Torque family. I did have one Torque polisher that lasted and one where the electronic interface did not. Uh, it is smooth. It is constant. I will give it that. It doesn't miss a beat while you're using it and it gets the job done. Let me know down in the comment section if you have tried this, if you own it, or what you consider getting something uh, within this category. As a rating on the channel, I would give it a seven, maybe seven and a half out of 10. Chemical Guys, along with some other companies, do get beat up in the comment section at times. But I like to keep an open mind because you never know when you can find a gem amongst other products. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.